Okay guys, so what I'm going to do right now, as you see, I have the Osprey PowerPoint for it here. I'm going to kind of do like a, a couple of different packing examples and the limitations I faced, you know, as a person doing photography and so on. I'm also going to show you packing with shoes and some, some tricks you can use to pack shoes if you like need more than one pair of shoes like me because I might be running or something. So let's get to it. These are two e bag packing cubes. I'm gonna show you two ways to pack it, right? Now some people pack flat and some people pack up. I suggest you pack up. Once you pack flat like this, as you can see, almost pretty much a third of the bag space is gone already. But if you pack up, the space is pretty much doubled. And this works on either side. So continue the three to one rule, two e-bags cubes to one empty cube, just so in case I need to put something else here, I can. All right, so basically this is gonna illustrate a two to one packing rule in effect. So now for context, this is the end of our trip and this bag has stuff that we bought on our trip, you know, a couple accessories, pants, shirts, whatever, right? So this, this was originally empty e-bags packing cube following that two to one rule. So when you open the bag, you're gonna see the fully packed Osprey Firepoint 40 bag. So basically I'm gonna take these out. The first things first is you're gonna see that there's quite a bit of space here. And remember, this is the end of our trip. So put this in right now. And you can see there's still quite a bit of space in the bag here. And it's very important to think about this being the end of the trip because you, you wanna make sure you have that space. And obviously for illustration purposes, I would normally like wrap the camera in something, but it's just to illustrate a simple packing scheme. So basically this illustrates a two to one packing rule where you end up having space at the end of your trip. What I found is that to keep the bag flat while you're traveling, what you can do is put the shoes in the front part where the laptop goes. And the reason why I say this is because you can lay them flat just like this. And what's interesting is that they don't, they don't interfere like with the laptop itself. As long as the shoes are just a regular size shoe, not you know something with like stiff leather on it or whatever. Because your laptop can still go in here, right? And what I'm trying to show you is the profile. Okay, so what I really like about this power cord, right? It, it, look at it, it like size-wise, it's very, very ergonomic. It's very um, well-designed and it's ultimately easy to pack. The number one design um, feature I love on this is the fact that in the housing here, um, there's a groove built in that allows you to loop, loop the cord through the housing, which is awesome. You plug in the main cord there and it's completely assembled. What's also really nice about this is that it gives you access to four ports. One, two, three, four, and you only have one plug. And right now I can easily charge two batteries at once, my laptop and my cell phone. I'm not worried about this cord. Okay, so basically, so this is the Outgo microfiber towel from Magnet. It is a large size. I am six foot one and a half, and I'm gonna show you in a video right now, but when I stand up holding the towel, it pretty much covers most of my body. Now, for those of you who know what a microfiber towel is, it's a very specific kind of material. It is more absorbent and it dries faster. So it's very, very convenient. But what I love about this is that it comes in this really convenient case, which is very thin and narrow. Very, very narrow, right? And just like the, the suitcase, it has this breathable mesh right here. So even if your towel isn't fully dry, it, it, it's pretty cool because you know it allows to breathe, it doesn't really smell, and it's great. It's a highly recommended addition to your Osprey Farpoint 40 packing gear. accessory I want to talk about that you can use to really make your travel more effective you've seen me use this in my packing this is a Joby Gorilla Pod this is a Joby Gorilla Pod Focus which is like the much bigger sturdier version and this is Joby Gorilla Pod DSLR Zoom and basically assembly is really simple and there you go so depending on the equipment I'm walking with I tend to pack like one or maybe both but at the same time are extremely convenient 
and you know they fit easily into my bag they don't weigh much and you know they're also bendable so if you ever need to you know bend it to like fit around something or under something it's also another great thing but you don't have to be like a professional photographer but it's a great way to get stabilization and a way to shoot pictures of yourself without necessarily having a large monopod or tripod so right now i want to talk about storage it's a portable solid state drive and ssd drive this is really great and it's extremely small i mean in the palm of my hand this is how it looks i mean i do have big hands but um this is how it looks in the, um just for comparison here is a regular drive which is still pretty small but side by side you can see that it is about 30 percent smaller so what i do is when i'm packing these i have what's called an inner case an inner case works for both the regular hard drive but what i do is with these I'm able to put two into one. So I just put both here. Boom, good to go. But I got SSD drives because they're very fast for video editing. At the same time, if you already have a regular hard drive, these cases are excellent for packing them and keeping them safe. It's a perfect packing accessory. Okay guys, so I hope that review really helped. I mean, I've been trying to like get into the space of doing backpack reviews on um, the Osprey is the one I have and I'm gonna kind of do maybe a few more reviews of some other bags I have but I really want to make this video to show like some of the, the, the stuff I face when I'm traveling the limitations and how to help you and also the things that have helped me travel more efficiently and function better as a traveler when I'm traveling okay so if you have any questions or comments you know please leave them below and um, everything is listed below um, in the in the comments so please support my channel by if you choose to purchase anything, please use the affiliate links below. And until next time, like I said, you know, if you have any questions, if you want to see any more reviews, please let me know. And thanks for watching. All right, I'll catch you later.